What's up, guys? Uh, this is it is 4 a.m. 4 a.m. Uh, update just went live. I am about to go to bed, but I figure I'll make the video to tell you that the update is live. Uh, so, what are the changes? Uh, the Yeti now. I basically just changed his attack from Berserk to Ape Shit. I don't know why I didn't call it Ape Shit earlier. That makes so much more sense. So I did that. Crown uh, protects from poison and Vespula and Vorkath. Uh, one of the achievements, cleaning herbs, uh, is working correctly. Fixed an issue with effigy where if you turned in rivets, um, they would sometimes... Like, if you turned in rivets and had a full inventory, you wouldn't get space. Uh, the leprechaun now notes potions. Uh, just some of the standard ones like prayer potions, super combats, and whatnot. Um, not super combats, but super strength, defense, and, and then whatnot. Um, so that, that mostly just helps Ultimate Iron Man. Uh, there's a... Uh, Oh, oh, uh, they fixed an issue. It's mostly just a lot of quality of life things, so I suppose I'll just focus on the big things rather than just lead this long, at, you know, read this list. We did a coding stream and it went pretty well. Um, we got a nice little list of stuff. Um, so I'll have that in the description below, but let me just get on to the big ones, I suppose. Those are the, the most important ones. So, yeah, the, the big one is boss invasion points. Uh, so if we, uh, if we go to boss invasion, I don't know what the teleport is. Uh, two and ten. Boom. Do we do it? And uh, I guess let me pee ring. So it's pee ring this bad boy. I don't know why I had to prove to you that the points go up, but they do. You now get one point per run. Uh, you trade Harris over here. You can see the shop. So you are guaranteed to get one item every 300 kills, um, and that's excluding what you get from reward stashes and whatnot. So that should just be a nice little bonus adds to the top of it. And of course, if you need a specific bust, that should be a lot easier to obtain. So that's a big one that should help improve uh, boss invasion. And there is also now a uh, certification for it, so it is needed for comp keep. And if you get um, 1,000 waves, it will yell it. And that's mostly just like a vanity thing. You do get a bond, but it's mostly just for free. So, yeah, just a couple other um, important ones, like uh, you no longer need a bracelet mold to do that. Uh, Mega Crystal Keys is the next big one, so let's show off to that. Um, I'll show you how to make it, because I know it's going to get asked a billion freaking times, even if even after this video is uploaded, it's still going to get uh, asked a billion freaking times. But um, uh, you need... That is not enough. Uh, what's Crystal? Okay. <laughs> Crystal comp. Okay, so you need 12, uh, 10,000 crystal comps, and then you need more. Um, uh, yeah, you need 100,000 lucky components, 10,000 crystal components. All you have to do is come over here, use the 100 crystal keys on the magic ball, and boom, you have yourself a mega key. Go home and use it like you would a normal crystal key. So it's basically just a hundred uh, crystal keys combined. So, I'm going to be doing a video tomorrow on the loots, the full total potential. There are a couple unique things. Uh, I did actually get one earlier. The, the, the best thing you can get from this, I got um, like my first key upon uh, starting the server. I don't want to show it to you, so only, only the six people online know about it, so maybe it'll um, hold some mystique. But there is some interesting stuff in there. You can get like uh, mystery box crates and stuff like that. Uh, one thing I want people to know is that uh, it's... My intention for it was going to be based on just I don't want I didn't want to open up 100 crystal keys or, or really, really well really I have more but the point was I didn't want to open up so many crystal keys so this was just sort of a way to speed it up it's not going to be overpowered you're not going to get amazing loots um, I did open up a good chunk of keys and watched my rewatch my video so the values are roughly the same obviously if you get really lucky opening crystal keys you could get more better loots. But that's kind of the whole thing, right? This is your 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 sacrificing the chance at some of those loots to get more loot. In my testing phase, it was kind of like 50-50, um, and I guess we'll just have to see what happens when the video comes out, because I'm sure people will be opening them. But um, the video will always give people a real good idea of how they um, handle. We'll do two more. Let's see if we can't clutch anything else out. Anything else out interesting? I mean, that was a pretty decent one. Tier 10 emblem, uh, arm set, so. Yeah, there's a lot of potential in there, and we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens when I do that video. Uh, in terms of other updates, there, uh, the rapier, the normal rapier, was nerfed. It received a 25% damage and accuracy reduction. The Scythe of Vitter, Grazi Rapier, both received an accuracy boost. And I think I did put a slight damage boost, but I didn't put that on the notes. 
I'll double check that and I'll fix it. Um, there's some new items you can disassemble. Really just a lot of quality life things. Uh, we'll have the full list in the description below. And then tomorrow I will be doing a nice and powerful mega crystal key opening. So thanks for watching guys. I will see you next. Uh, see you later.